Hello everyone, for this week's tooltip, I am going to showcase how you can utilize Gliffy's layer linking functionality to create buttons that will show and hide different elements of your diagram. So let me hop into Gliffy quick. I'm just going to utilize one of Gliffy's preset templates. Uh, let's pick the user journey flow template. So you can see here I have just a basic user journey flow. Um, and let's say I want to hide and show the user journey from home page on. So what I'm going to do is just drag over all the elements here and that will group them together. I'm just going to control C to copy and then I'm going to delete. So you can see here, I just deleted all the journey flow from the home page element. If you see here over on the right hand side, you have Gliffy's layer feature. I'm going to go down here and click the plus sign to add a new layer. And this will add a new layer here, layer one. I'm going to go back to the canvas and paste in what I deleted, bring it back over here. So we have that user journey flow from the home page once again. If I go back to the layer feature here, you can see there's this little eye icon. You can hide and show that layer. But that doesn't um, include the button on the canvas itself. So let's start creating that. I'm going to drag and drop over here just a quick shape that looks like a button. So I'm going to say include home page journey. And I'm going to create another one that just says include does not include home page journey. Make that look a little nicer. Maybe I'll make this one red. Make this one green. So let's go ahead and click on the include homepage journey button and then jump back to the layers feature. And here, if you were to select on the button, go down to here, which is the layer linking icon, you can select that and then you can pick and choose what layers you wanna show on that button. So I'm gonna include both on the include homepage journey. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for does not include. And I'm only gonna show layer zero because that does not include the homepage journey. So I will save that. You also can rename these layers if you'd like, but I'm gonna keep them as is. So I'm gonna save my diagram. Let's call it UX journey one. Save that. And then let's jump back into Confluence. So you can see here, I have my diagram on my Confluence page. I'm gonna update the Confluence page. And now if I am viewing this diagram, you can either expand it or view it straight from the page itself, but let's expand it. And here you're, able to click on the buttons to hide and show the journey. So let's not show the journey and then let's show it. So you can see here, easily create buttons to hide and show different elements of your diagram. Uh, this is a great way to keep your documentation up to date and a great way for users that don't edit the Gliffy diagrams to see multiple elements of your diagram. Feel free to try it yourself. And if you want to learn more, check out the blog on Gliffy.com or try us out in the Confluence Marketplace. Talk soon.